Hello again, folks. Welcome to the NASCAR Dural Last Cup Series here, guys. It is time for more unscripted diecast racing here at the biggest and baddest track on the circuit, Talladega Super Speedway, guys. This is going to be fun. Um, huge shout-out. Huge shout-out to Calling Racing's biggest fan for coming on board and sponsoring today's uh, action. That's why the race is the Calling Racing's biggest fan. Four ninety nine dollars at Talladega. Great partnership. Make sure to go subscribe and check out his Instagram page. Super excited for this race. So this is going to be fun. Let's run down the rules here, guys. So pull sitter right here, Ross Chastain. The way the rules work. We push the car where it lands on the track. That's where the car will stay. So let's say the 42 ends up right here. Okay. Car number two, Marcus Ambrose. Well, if the nose of this car gets to the back end of that car, fellas, that is a completed pass. Well, this is a restrictor plate race, so meaning it has a modified racing format. So, for instance, if the 42 car ends up there, and let's say the 32 ends up here, pack racing. So it means automatically the 32 would be right behind the 42. If he finishes up here, he'll be right in front of the 42. That's how pack racing works. So you can get this giant pack of cars wherever it is on the racetrack. If a car comes off for any reason, that is a DNF. And if he hits another car, that is a multi-car DNF. So, 40 diecast, unscripted diecast racing. Here we go, folks. So here's number 42 with the brand new Clover Chevrolet Camaro. And kicking it off already with a bang. Well, uh, back at Daytona, when Chase Elliott actually won that race, half the field crashed out, so I'm expecting at least 22, possibly 25 DNFs. Who freaking knows? Here's the number 32 car of Marcus Ambrose, the plenty sales of Ford Mustang. If you want to get free shipping on anything, guys, make sure it's the promo code DIECASTBUFFET. Same as YouTube. Username, any orders, $20 or more at CircleBee.cast and Plenty Sales. You'll get free shipping, guys. Hats, t-shirts, diecast, you freaking name it. Link down below. So, let's see what the 32 car can do. And decent run for the 32 car. Uh, he'll actually take the lead. Here's the number 19 of Martin Trucks Jr. And Trucks will take the lead. So that's how the passing works. No matter where the car is, as long as it's ahead of 32, it will automatically be... Uh, in front of the pack, if it's behind, uh, you know, the pack X, Y, Z, you'll automatically be behind it. So here we go, folks. Here is uh, Christopher Bell and the Craftsman Cameron. And the 20 car takes the lead. 23 of Bubba Wallace. Holy cow, man. What a lap. Uh, unfortunately, though, if this was his last race at Bristol Motor Speedway, he would be way up front of the pack, but since it's Talladega, nope, he's going to be right all the way back here. That's just how pack racing works. It's a wild card roulette wheel. Any freaking car can win it. Each diecast has their own speed. Here is William Byron. And that is a DNF. Number 27 of Gray Goldman. And the squeaky car gets around Marcus Ambrose. 54 of J.J. Yaley. Well, that wasn't good. Well, already three DNFs in here to the College Racing's biggest fan, 499. Here's Kevin Harvick. And that one nearly took out a couple cars. Of course, for a multi-car DNF to happen, you have to make contact with two or another car making a two-car wreck. Uh, but the four-car there kind of flew over him. It might, might have been. I'll have to check the replay. But uh, here's the number 85 of Carl Edwards. And he will take the lead. That was a slow lap. And he still will take the lead. Brand new race car for Matt Benedetto here, the number 21 Dutch Boy Menards car. Well, he had a good lap cooking there. That one ain't gonna flow. He's number 18 in a brand new car as well. The Fudge Brownie 2021 Evidence Camry. And extremely fast laps of the Toyotas. One, two, three, four, and five. Well, Kyle Busch already has a win this season at Rockingham. Could he get his second one of the season? Here is last season's winner, Quinn Hauf at Talladega. Let's see what this same car can do. Uh, he'll get second place thus far. Here is Elliot Sandler, the number 60. And again, a very slow lap, but he will take the lead as well. So finally, Selling kind of breaks up the Toyota uh, stranglehold there. Uh, Quinn Half and the number 60 both finding their way to the top three. Here's Michael McDowell looking for his first NDCS win. Oh, yep, that's a, that's a DNF. So Michael McDowell comes off uh, the, the short shoot right there, entering turn one. 
Makes contact with Marcus Ambrose in the 32, and Greg Golding in the 27. That's a three-car wreck. And here's last race winner, Kyle Larson. Uh, this car is extremely fast. How will it fare at Talladega? Let's see. And what did I tell you? Extremely fast car. Kyle Larson looking to be a championship favorite here. Here's Tyler Reddick in the eight car. And that is the fastest lap of the day. Here's Denny Hamlin, who won at Fontana last year. A super speedway event, obviously with a different rules package, but could he win here at Talladega? And sure enough, the Camrys, I'm telling you, they're all running to about this point here. They are fast. Here's number 41 of Cole Custer. And not a good run right there for the 41, but... It is what it is. Number 43 of Eric Jones. Extremely fast lap for the 43. Here's the number 84 of Daniel Hemrick. Ooh, yep, that's a dead out. Well, if that takes out Martin Trucks Jr., I believe, I believe he, he dodged a 20 car there. Uh, just barely. That's from my gut reaction here. Uh, but the 19 car and the 84 car are taking out Eric Jones and the 43 is out front. Brand new car here of the worst 2021 Ford Mustang. Let's see what this cat can do. He had a good lap cooking, guys, but the Penske woes continue. With a lap that was going to take the lead and possibly get Brad his first NDCS win, he's going back to the garage. Here's the 82 of AJ Allmendinger. And another DNF. Here is Joey Logano with the Penzo Ford. Ooh. You know, should we count that as a DNF or not? You know what? I'm going to cut him some slack. He survived and he advanced, but that was close to being a DNF. So Logano somehow survives. If you're new to the series here, guys, only top 10 get points. So the 43 car all the way back, way back to the 23 car of Bubba. That's going to be the only cards as of right now eligible for points. First place gets 10 points, 10th place gets 1 point. And if you're interested for the next NASCAR Your Last Cup Series race, huge announcement here, guys. Huge shout out to Mini Martinsville over there on Instagram for coming on board and sponsoring October 16th, the first ever NASCAR Your Last Cup Series Southern 500, the throwback event at Darlington, the first ever Darlington race in the Your Last Cup Series history. It's going to be an incredible event. Huge shout out to Mini Martinsville over there on Instagram for coming on board and sponsoring that, guys. Link down below to his page. Thank you so much for uh, coming on board and helping support the, the most original diecast series on YouTube. Here's the number 39 car of Harrison Burton. And uh, he had a pretty good lap cook in there. Not enough to get around the 41. Here is Cody Ware in the 52. Hold the phone. Cody Ware is out front. Here is Alex Bowman because we can't find the 2021 car. So what's wrong with his Texas car? Ooh, yep, that was a bad one. Uh, that was about 10 pounds of monkey crap in a five pound bag. What a um, absolute bullet to the 22. I guess it was truly destiny for Logano to get taken out there. Um, I'm going to spare the 20 car, though, uh, because the nose and tail rule, but the 48 and the 22 are definitely out. So I want to quickly show for the nose and tail rule, if the 20 car gets hit from the back end and pushes the 23 all the way up here, these cars are all safe, including the 23. It's only the contact made by the car on the track that initiates a DNF. So if, for instance, the 48 car came around and hit every single one of these cars, regardless how many, that would eliminate all of them. That's just how the rule works, guys. Here's Chase Elliott. Brand new race car here in the Universe. Uh, Chevrolet Camaro. He did win the dates on a 500. That was in a 2020 Hooters car. Uh, the $40 car. <laughs> that thing is safely retired. Uh, let's see what this car's got. Ooh, yep, another one. So about 17 cars taken out there. Chase Elliott sends a bullet. And now the one strong Toyota Brigade is now reduced to just 
two Toyotas on track. They have taken them all out, fellas. Here's a 77 of Justin Haley. And that car won Richmond last year. It might win Talladega this year. Here is Ryan Newman in the Core Generators Ford. Oh, that's no good. Quinn Half, Cole Custer, they're done. So pretty much call it. It is about, what, half the field is already eliminated with 10 cars left to go, guys. Holy cow. Who's going to win here at Talladega? Here's Kurt Busch in the Garrett Chevrolet Camaro. That car is slow, but a bullet into the corner. You know, I had a feeling like it was going to be a wreck fest. And, you know, if you want to sponsor a Dura Last Cup Series race, either DM me on Instagram at DieCastBuffet or email me at DieCastBuffetYT at gmail.com if you want to sponsor a Dura Last Cup Series race to help promote your brand, get your, get your channel out there, your Instagram page, whatever it may be you're doing, you can get your page promoted here in the Dura Last Cup Series. Here's the number 45 of John Hunter Nemechek. And somehow, he's going to survive and get in the top 10. So believe it or not, guys, when I said earlier that the 23 car was the bubble and the 10-car 10, uh, 10 point opportunity, it's now the 39. Yeah, the tables have turned. The Toyotas dominated early on, but now the Chevrolets are really ganging up here. Uh, let's see, we got the 37 here. Ryan Priest, can he win a freaking race? Let's see. Not with a car like that. Number 12 of Ryan Blaney. Could this be Ryan Blaney's chance to get his first Dura Last Cup Series win since Season 1 at Bristol? Can you believe it? Penske has not won a Dura Last Cup Series race in years. Ryan Blaney could win it today. Here's Austin Dillon in the three car. Austin Dillon, top five. Five cars to go. Here is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Who's going to win it, fellas? Stenhouse gets around Hamlin. And of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to give the video a huge thumbs up. If we can, let's hit 50 likes. 50 thumbs up if you can. Holy cow, man. I'm all jacked up on coffee. Here's the number 88 car here, guys. Um, this thing was terribly slow. Uh, even the, the this alternate paint scheme you ran at Bristol. Both of these cars thus far this season was incredibly slow here. So let's see what the 88 car can do of Andrew Keaton. Otherwise known as Little Wrangler 3. Let's see what this car can do. Shot out of a cannon. He's going to take the lead. Oh, would you look at that? The 12 car. Looking to win this race. Get his first Duralast Cup Series win for Penske. In what, three seasons? Alrighty, folks. Three cars to go here at the Collars Racing Biggest Fan. 499, of course. The next uh, NASCAR Duralast Cup Series broadcast will be coming up Saturday night. October 16th, the Mini Martinsville Southern 500. I know it's kind of funny, a Martinsville sponsored race at Donington. Uh, it's going to be a great race, guys. First time ever. The NASCAR Dora Cup Series will be going to Donington. Throwback paint scheme, Saturday night action. It is going to be a barn burner. And here we go, folks. Coil of Joy. Let's see what this cat can do. This is a fast car. Very good lap there, but he'll get up to fourth place. Two cars left to go, and well qualified for the first race. Uh, <laughs> pretty much for this 25 car. It's been a while, right? Uh, they attempted, you know, at the dual races, but uh, uh, guess what? This 25 car is back in action here at the Talladega Super Speedway. Missed out at Bristol, missed out at Rockingham. Let's see what uh, Gabe Blaschko can do with the Jake's 25 car. Well, he's going to survive and get around the Elliott Sadler number 60. All righty, folks. Here we go. The final car, Chase Briscoe, and the Ford Performance Racing School 14 car. Oh, boy. This is going to be a good one here, guys. So you have Chase Briscoe going for his first ever Dorlas Cup Series win. Brand new 2021 car. 88 car of Little Wrangler 3 out front looking for his second Dorlas Cup Series win. Would be a big upset right there for the 88 car. Who is going to win this race? Here we go, folks. Chase Briscoe or Andrew Keaton. Let's see. Extremely fast car. Going to be just short. Just short. He'll get around the 7. He had enough speed to get right here to the 12th car. It is official. The 88 car of Little Wrangler 3 will win here at Talladega Super Speedway. Ryan Blaney is denied, but man, what did... 
Chase Briscoe had a great shot at it. Holy cow, folks. What a Talladega race it was, guys. Holy cow. The 88 car right here, folks, of Andrew Keaton. You know him as Little Wrangler 3. Well, this is the second during last Cup Series win for the 88 car, or for him. Uh, last year, he won the Pop Seeker 500 at Bristol uh, in the 5 car, ironically enough. That same number won it the next year. Well, guess what? He goes to the 88 car after the 88's retired from Hendrick, and guess what? He wins Talladega. What a cool race that was, guys. Half the field freaking wrecked out. Um, crazy crashes, man. And it, it was just so funny how, like, half of the, the top, what is it, top 10 was Toyota's. Only one Toyota in the top 10 getting points. All the other ones were wrecked out pretty much. And Ryan Blady, I mean, this guy won Bristol back in season one, guys. And he's a bridesmaid there. Crazy, crazy run. But I'm going to say it here, guys. Spire Motorsports is the most complete team in the Durant's Cup Series season. Both of their cars are extremely fast bullets. And I think the 14 car might be the fastest car in Durant's Last Cup Series racing. That thing almost won today. So, what a crazy race, guys. Next broadcast is going to be October 16th, Saturday night, at Darlington Raceway. First ever race at Darlington for the Doral S Cup Series Stockers here. It's going to be throwback weekend, baby. It's going to be fun. And a huge shout-out again to our sponsors here. Calling Racing, biggest fan, for coming on board and sponsoring Talladega. Uh, go check him out on YouTube. He just created a YouTube channel. And also check him out on Instagram. Links down below. And then also shout-out to Mini Martinsville for coming on board and sponsoring the Southern 500. That's going to be so much fun, guys. You're not going to want to miss it. October 16th, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You're not going to want to miss it, guys. Throwback diecast racing, unscripted. It's going to be a great one, folks. Of course, if you want to help out the channel and get some 2021 cars for yourself, like maybe this uh, beautiful, beautiful Chase Briscoe car right here, guys. I cannot say it enough. This is a underrated diecast, guys. Or maybe you want to pick up a Corey LaJoy. It's still in stock, believe it or not. This car, I thought, would already be dried up and gone. Believe it or not, it's still in stock over there at Circle B Diecast. So if you want to get anything NASCAR related and get free shipping, guys, hats, t-shirts, diecasts, your freaking name, please use the promo code down below, Diecast Buffet, and you'll get free shipping on any orders, $20 or more. I tell you what, man, what a fantastic Dora Last Cup Series race. And I have, a, I have to kind of, you know, clear something up. So obviously after Bristol, we advertised Dover to be the next Dora Last Cup Series race. Well, if you don't pay attention uh, to the Instagram page, uh, Diecast Buffet, it's where, uh, my Instagram, Diecast Buffet, or my community page on the channel, I made a post saying it was delayed or postponed, because, uh, that week we were supposed to do the Dover race, well, guess what, I had a hurricane, and it, it didn't hit or nothing, but it just, you know, preparing for the weather and stuff, you lose a lot of filming time, it takes about a week to do these, you know, these races, right, so when I lost the editing time, I said, you know what, I don't want to rush it, I don't want to do it half-cooked, so to speak, let's just freaking wait, so Dover is still on the schedule, guys. Instead of that being the fourth race of the Darlax Cup Series season, Talladega became the fourth race. So that means uh, Darlington will now be the fifth race of the season. Dover is still to be determined. It could happen late in the year. I don't know. We'll find a spot for that. But right now, Dover is still scheduled to be on the schedule. Um, if anything ever comes up and I can't run Dover, then I would just run a double header race at another track to kind of make up that day. Anyways, huge congratulations to Little Wrangler 3. Your car just freaking won a Dora Last Cap Series race. Holy cow, man. What an awesome freaking car here. Go check out his YouTube page, guys. A huge supporter of the Dora Last Cap Series. So, really cool to see him win a race here in the Dora Last Cap Series season. But, um, absolutely, guys. What a great race. Thank y'all so, so much for watching the NASCAR Dora Last Cap Series. I do this stuff for y'all, guys. And if you want to sponsor a Dora Last Cap Series race, as I mentioned earlier, make sure to email me at diecastbuffetyt at gmail.com. I have a link to that on my channel uh, description page. Go to my YouTube channel. It'll be over there in the About section. Go scroll down, and it'll say Business Email. So go and email me over there if you want to sponsor a Dora Last Cap Series race. It does cost, but let me tell you guys, how cool is how cool is it to have your own Dora Last Cup Series race, guys? It is freaking fun. Have a great one, everybody. And from the voice of the NASCAR Dora Last Cup Series, I'm Garrett Hodge. Have a great day, everybody. This has been a presentation of the NASCAR Dural S Cup Series on Diecast Buffet.